Okay, boys and girls, happy Wednesday. Today is May 20th. Today for reading, your skill is going to be text features. Whoop, wait a minute. Make sure we're all muted. There we go. Um, so our skill is gonna be text features. So you need an electronic device with sound. There is a nonfiction text features chart and there is a Google slide. There are many text features used in nonfiction books. So here's some examples, captions, maps, glossary, table of contents, bold words, images. Now I know that every time we read a nonfiction book in school, we always talk about all of these text features. So I think <coughs> you guys are already familiar with this. So. Um, I'll show you the Google slide when we get to the classroom. And for writing today, you're going to be planning. <laughs> you're going to be planning. So you need an electronic device with sound and there's another Google slide. So nonfiction writers come up with subtopics to go along with the topic they are writing about. So example, if my topic is elephants, some subtopics could be food, habitat, the way they look, okay? So that's what subtopics means. Like, hmm, okay, I have my big topic about elephants. What do I wanna teach people about elephants? Okay, maybe where they live, right? That's their habitat. What kind of foods do they eat, right? What do they look like? Um, things like that. So we're gonna kind of think of, we're gonna be planning some subtopics today. Foundations, your skill is homophones. Ooh, homophones are so much fun, right? So homophones are two words that sound the exact same when you say them, but when you spell them, they're spelled differently and they have different meanings. So like C and C, for example, right? One is of course the ocean and the other one is seeing with our eyes. I use my eyes to see, the dolphin lives in the sea. You need an electronic device with sound. There's a Go Noodle, a fun video for you to watch with a song. And there is another Google slide. So, so far, for all of our subjects, for reading, for writing, for foundations, there are Google slides that you're going to turn in for all three. For math, you're going to continue with your subtraction number stories. You need an electronic device with sound. Print out the math journal pages or put it on paper. That's an optional submission. Base 10 blocks can help us solve subtraction number stories. Remember to always start with the bigger number when subtracting. So you can draw the base 10 blocks if that's helpful. And like I said the other day, you have your math additional resources. If you wanna go in there and physically use the base 10 blocks, you can cut them out and you can use those. Social studies, you're continuing with your Memorial Day. So whatever step you are on today, maybe you're on watching Tim and Moby, the Brain Pop, talk about Memorial Day. Um, any of the videos that you're on, if you're on the writing assignment, if you're on the quiz, okay, that is all due um, by Friday. <coughs> okay, so we're going to head into the classroom. <coughs> And don't forget, you always have your checklist. So like I said, it's you have three Google Slides to turn in today. Okay, math is optional. And then some of you already handed in your social studies. So today, up at the top, there are instructional videos, part one and part two, watch the videos. And then there is a math number story sheet. So you can draw out the base 10 blocks, in the workspace to subtract. When you're done, you have mom or dad check it and you could go back and correct it, okay? So there is um, a PDF if you want. Again, if you wanna do um, Doc Hub, you could submit it like that, you could email it to me. It is an optional submission though, because remember you will have, um, like once we finish the whole skill, you will have a quiz on it. So that's really what we're looking for. When we get to that part, 
for writing. All right, so planning. Authors always make a plan before they write. This helps them organize their ideas. Informational writing has different parts. It should have an introduction, facts that are divided into subtopics, and a closing. Today, you're gonna make a plan for your topic. You will divide your topic into smaller parts, also called subtopics. You will need to include two to three subtopics for your book. But if you wanna add more, you absolutely can. Now, this is extra. You don't have to do this, but um, there is an informational book about vegetables by Gail Gibbons. So you can listen to the way she broke up her topics, right? She broke it up into three subtopics. So that's a six minute video. That is optional. You don't have to, but if you feel like, hey, you know, I don't really understand what the subtopics, let me, you know, let me kind of see how it's done and how an actual author took her book and broke up vegetables into different topics. You can view that story. All right, so you need at least two to three, and you can add your topic and subtopics into the plan. Now this is just, oh, okay. We're gonna look at this really quick. Okay, so today all you're doing is your subtopics. So you're dividing your topic into smaller parts. So in the video, she chose that she would divide computers into kinds of computers, parts of computers, what computers do. Here's some other examples. If your topic is animal, like a type of animal, which I think many people are doing an animal. Um, it might be features. What does it look like? What kind of food does it eat? Habitat. Where does it live? Let's say you're doing more of a biography and you're doing a person. You might do, well, their early life, like what was their childhood like? Later in life, adulthood, what was that like? And why is the person famous? So that might be your subtopics. Let's say you're doing a sport. It could be the history of the sport, how to play, famous players or games. All right, other things, you could do earthquakes, Mars, right? You could do a planet, composting, tulips, sonic boom, Spain, etc. Okay, think about background knowledge, different types, history. Okay, so we're just giving you lots of ideas here, lots of options for you. So now it's your turn. What's your topic? Type it here. Then type your subtopic, subtopic, subtopic. At least two. Okay, two to three. Okay, so once we have our topic, our subtopics, this is gonna be our plan. We're gonna have our introduction, we're gonna talk about all the subtopics, and then we're gonna put a closing on. Okay, so basically what you wrote on the other slide, in slide seven, you're going to write again in slide nine. Your topic, 
um, your two or three subtopics, okay? And then you're gonna turn it in. So remember, when you're at this screen, you, <coughs> excuse me, you could only press share. So you wanna make sure, I know I say this a lot, but you wanna make sure you go to view assignment and you press the turn in button, okay? Okay, for reading, text features. Okay, so you're gonna watch Mrs. Durani's instructional video. I would show you it now, it's a little lengthy though, it's about eight minutes. So you're gonna view that video, and then you're gonna view the examples of nonfiction text features in the chart, and fill in the Google slide, and you're gonna turn in this slide. So, <coughs> excuse me. So here's an example of a chart with examples of the picture. So your title, table of contents, it tells you what they mean, headings, photographs, captions, labels, bold print, diagram, charts, index, lots of different text features. So that's a useful resource for you. <coughs> and then the video, I'm not gonna show you the video now, but um, let me just, Pause it for a second. I'm going to kind of drag through. I'm going to basically, in my video, talk about all of the different text features and show you examples, basically, of what's in that chart. So your titles, <coughs> your captions, your glossaries, okay? And then I'm going to kind of go through a text feature scavenger hunt with you um, and show you some examples in a real book. So it's a helpful video, and then your assignment is a Google slide. So again, wait, let me go back. I always, I always click that way. Let me go to view assignments. There it is. <coughs> so I'm going to click on that. Hi, second grade friends. Follow the directions on the following slides. So you're going to have text features. Write a caption for this picture. So, if you're familiar with the life cycle of a butterfly, okay, um, that's what you're viewing here. You're gonna click, and you're gonna write a caption for this picture. So now think about this. This butterfly just emerged from its cocoon called a pupa, right? So it's one of the steps of turning into a butterfly. So they are emerging from their pupa, and it's turning into a butterfly. You know, you could also call it a cocoon. Um, but basically, our little caterpillar friend who has been sleeping in the pupa, in the cocoon, he is emerging and now turning into a beautiful butterfly. So you're going to put a caption here for the picture. What kind of text feature is this? Okay, it's pointing to all the parts of a flower. You're going to insert your text here. What information can you find in a glossary? I can find blank in a glossary. And the table of contents. What title would you give this book? So you're going to insert the text. Take a look at the table of contents before bringing home a puppy. What do puppies need? Potty training, obedience training, best toys for puppies. Okay, so what title do you wanna give this book? And then when you're done, X out of it and press this black turn in button. <coughs> Foundations. Okay, so there is a fun Go Noodle song to learn about homophones. <coughs> so that is here. And then you're gonna complete, then you're gonna complete the homophones slide and you're gonna submit it. Now, there's a challenge, it is optional. Make a list of other homophones on the challenge slide. 
Okay, so you're going to see this one's the challenge slide. So that is optional, but this is the slide that you're going to do. And then you're going to turn it in. So if you want to view it really quick, okay, if you hover over it, you'll see like it says challenge. If I hover over this one, homophone. So that's the one that you want to make sure you do. The other one is optional. So we have some sentences. You could click on the magnifying glass, make it bigger. And we have all homophones, words that sound alike but have different spellings and meanings. Read the sentence and choose the correct word. Circle the word and then write them on the line. You may use a dictionary for help. So of course you're not gonna circle it and all of that, but what you can just do, you're gonna just, that a little bit smaller. You want to make sure that you are clicking the text box tool so that you can type in here. I am going to blank my friend at the mall. Meet? Which meet is it, right? One of them is meeting them at the mall. The other one is like a steak, right? So you want to make sure you're picking the right one. And you're going to follow those directions with all of the examples. And then once again, X out of the assignment and press turn in right there. Okay, let's go back. And, and then you have your social studies. So whatever step you're on, you're going to finish viewing your videos. You're going to do your Memorial Day writing and your Google quiz is there. And that's it for today.